What do you do when your all-star cast pulls out of your film? Well, if you're director Kevin MacDonald, you sign up a bunch of Oscar winners. The man behind The Last King of Scotland called on Russell Crowe and Ben Affleck to fill the holes left by Brad Pitt and Edward Norton in State of Play. You gotta go on the record, swing the spotlight back on them. I think that, uh, you know, sometimes you get what you need by the strangest of uh, the strangest of roots, and I got I couldn't have asked for a better cast. It just took a little jiggling to get there. So here's what Brad and Ed passed up on. The plot involves two deaths, a politician caught in the middle. Collins was allegedly having an affair with a young woman. And a reporter after a scoop, who ends up uncovering more than he bargained for. Do you have any idea what you're threatening here? Billions of dollars. That's wrath of God money. It meant the New Zealand-born star slipping into the shoes of people he admits he dislikes, journalists. So how did he find that? Uh, very squishy and quite smelly. Really? Yeah. Charming. But seriously, though. I do believe journalism is a noble profession, but I think you uh, must treat it as such. Also in the mix is Dame Helen Mirren as the newspaper's editor, who clearly loved being in charge. And then one of them cracks, and there's another story. Meantime, people are reading about it, and they're reading us about it. I get to boss the old crow around. It was really good. <laughs> Rather her than me, we've all heard about his difficult reputation. Russell, no, no. Well, if you say so. The story is a reinvention of the successful UK TV series of the same name. As a result, they've changed the focus from politics to the press. The whole point of this film is meant to be, you know, uh, uh, we all need great journalism, we need investigative journalism, we need people who are going to be the awkward squad and ask the difficult questions. Now, this may make you think, yawn, but I promise you, it's fast-paced, edge-of-the-seat stuff, with first-class performances all round. It also touches on a very real issue. The sinking of this bloody newspaper! Yep, with a host of US broadsheets in trouble, it reads like a farewell to a golden age of the media, now reliant on celebrities and all things online.